hey guys how's it going in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can you know download and install modules in Scilab now another word for modules would be a toolbox and what a module or a toolbox is is that it provides some added functional to, functionality to Scilab which wasn't there already so for in case let's say you want to solve you know a, an equation like a polynomial equation maybe Scilab couldn't do it already so you can, what you can do is you can search for a module that can do that and you can download and install it in your Scilab now from where you can get these modules is quite easy just head over to your browser and type in the URL atoms.scilab.org and from there you can get any module on Scilab that is available there and the full form of Atoms would be Automatic Modules Management for Scilab and it is the repository for packaged extension modules or toolboxes whatever you would like to call them and there are a tons of you know great toolboxes available here like image processing or design toolbox then the Scilab image and video processing toolbox and these are pretty popular toolboxes with like a mid like 153,000 downloads this one has then this has this one has 104,000 downloads so these are pretty popular you know toolboxes so if you want to uh, or if you need any functionality that um, you think that any of these toolboxes provide then you can download any toolbox that you like and they are even categorized right here and as you can see there are categories like aerospace bioinformatics contributed scilab binaries and so on so you can just click on any category let's say i clicked on data analysis and statistics so these are some of the toolboxes in that category and let's check out data handling then we have another uh, set of toolboxes like CSV read write and it can be used to read and write CSV files which are comma separated values and so a variety of toolboxes are already available on Scilab so the next time maybe when you are trying to you know create some program in Scilab and you think that maybe if I had this functionality already in Scilab then this task would have been quite easy for me then I would advise you that you first come here onto this website that is the atoms.scilab.org and check out if any of the toolboxes is already available here. So and I have created like five toolboxes in Scilab and they are pretty useful too and so for the purpose of this tutorial I would like to showcase them to you. And and that will also teach you how you can download and install a toolbox so basically um, let's head over to this category that is numerical math and there are some toolboxes here that are created by me so let's take this toolbox equation solver and click on it so it is a recently built toolbox I just uh, created it on 13th March that is like 10 days ago and it has seven downloads already which is not pretty good but not bad either and so I don't care well to be honest I care if I get more downloads but it's alright so anyway so here's my name that is Manas Sharma and I'm the author of this toolbox and the category is numerical math then there you can go over to this website to find out more about this toolbox and which is my blog that is bright off so that's my blog by the way and you can find more details about this toolbox here anyway let's come back to here and and now here you see that the supported Scilab versions are greater or equal to 5.3 so you might wanna check out the version of Scilab that you are running cause if it is any lower than that then this module will not work on your system also then if you scroll down then there is this file there is a toolbox or the module file that you can download and just click here to download this file okay so it says that it will download it and just click on ok and it's downloaded already now let me just check out where is the downloaded file okay so it is in my downloads folder so just copy the path of the file that is the path of the folder where the file is and head over to your Scilab console 
and type this command that is atoms install then the path of the file that you want or the module that you want to install so this was the path where the module was stored now I need to enter the full path of the module so let me just copy the name of the module and go back to my scilab and add dot zip so this is the path of the module in string that's why there are these two codes at the end so if you give this function atoms install with the string which contains the path of the toolbox or module and hit enter then scilab is going to you know go over to the website and check if any updated version of this module is available or not and then when once it has checked that it is going to download this module i'm not sure if it's going to download it again but basically it's just going to you know complete the installation so we'll have to just wait around a little bit while this installation gets completed and Another thing that you might have noticed on this website is that it even has a description of the toolbox. Now what this toolbox do does is, it is a toolbox with various functions for finding the roots of various algebraic or transcendental equations using numerical techniques. Now in case you don't know what an algebraic or transcendental equation is, then Basically, algebraic equations are basically your polynomial equations like x cubed plus 5x plus 3 equals 0. And these are known um, as your algebraic equations. However, transcendental equations can contain, you know, the trigonometric terms like sine of x, cos of x. For example, x is equal to sine of x would be a transcendental equation. And usually, transcendental equations have a large number of roots since sine uh, takes the same value for a number of x's so however an algebraic equation would just have the number of roots um, which uh, corresponds to the degree of the equation so if the degree of the equation is 5 then if they have 5 roots how a transcendental equation would have a number of roots and the root that you get would depend on the interval in which you are searching for the root now let's head back However, that might not be the case always with transcendental equations that you have like infinite number of roots, but you can have quite many num uh, quite a many number of roots. So basically, that's the basic difference between transcendental and algebraic equations. Now let's come back to a console, and as you can see, the toolbox has already been installed. So we are getting this success message, I guess. Now to load this toolbox in your scilab, you will have to give this command atoms load and in brackets again you will type the name of the toolbox. Now this is important. Now the name of the toolbox that you are going to type is, uh, is not this whole name that you see here. However, the name of the toolbox would be this EQN solver. Okay, so um, in case the toolbox uh, provides you with a in case the you know the author of the toolbox provides you with a name then you can find it in the description file right here however if you don't find it in the description then you can even come to your console and see whatever phrase that you see here and that would be the name of the toolbox so in my case it is eqn solver so that's the name of the toolbox EQM solver and just give this command and hit enter so it what it does is it loads the macros that is the functions that the toolbox provides and it also loaded a help for this toolbox and you can type help EQM solver for quick start so that is a success mes message from the creator of this toolbox that is me so once you load this toolbox you will get these messages so let's type in help EQN solver and see what happens and hit enter and my help loaded up okay so come on my computer is freezing upon me again oh no okay so it worked finally so now I am taken to the function bsolve which is a part of the 
toolbox equation solver or equivalent solver and let's just click here and see what are the functions that this toolbox provides so equation solver or the EQN solver toolbox provides me four functions and they are B solve, NR solve, quad solver and SC solve and the you know the description of the function is given beside them that is the first one finds the root of an equation using an a method called the bisection method I'm not sure if you have heard about this but it's pretty mathematics kind of thing or core mathematic kind of stuff and it comes under the subject called numerical math methods or numerical analysis so in case you haven't heard about it then it's okay but for the purpose of this tutorial I will make sure that you don't need to know what these methods are but just we will show you or I'll show you that how you can use these functions of this toolbox another function is an R solve that is it finds the root of an equation using another numerical technique called Newton Raphson method then there is a function quad solver which solves the root of a quadratic equation and then there is another function as he solve which gives the root of a equation using the numerical technique called NR uh, secant method. Now let's just click on this quad solver method and see what it does. So it finds the root of a quadratic polynomial and the calling sequence or the syntax of this function is that it would return a root and a, a matrix of roots because a quadratic polynomial will have two roots and then you have to give three input arguments that is a b and c and a is the coefficient of x squared b is the coefficient of x and c is the coefficient of um, or the constant in the equation then root is a matrix containing the two roots of the equation and there is an example of how you can use this function let's just click here to execute this example and we see that we call this function like a is equal to quad solver and give the coefficients of the different parameters then we display the value of a and we got minus one and minus one as the two roots so this equation uh, would be x squared plus 2x plus 1 and this equation would have two equal roots that is minus one then another example we have the equation as x squared plus x plus 1 and the roots are complex in this case one of them and both of them differ by a plus and negative sign so that's how you can download or and install a toolbox from the Adams website of Scilab so I hope this tutorial was good enough like let's just summarize what we did in this tutorial once again so to add more functionality to Scilab what you can do is you can head over to this website Adams dot scilab dot org and just click on any of the module that you want to install and just head over down here and download the file suitable for your OS for example if you are running a Windows OS then you might want to search for a file that is good for Windows or if you are running a, uh, running a Linux OS then you might want to search for a file that is suitable for Linux so you just download the respective file that you want and then check out the path where the file has been downloaded and just give the command atoms install and give the path of the file as a string as its argument and then just hit enter and it will install your toolbox however uh, to load the toolbox what you can do is you can give the command atoms load and the toolbox name or another thing that you can do is simply quit your scilab by clicking here and then load scilab again so what this will do is it will load the toolbox that you installed uh, in your scilab it will load them automatically so you see that i don't have to give this eq uh, i ha don't have to load this uh, equation solver toolbox again and again scilab does that automatically for me and the best part is that now these functions are provided in uh, as the internal part or the inbuilt function of Scilab so you can just call them anywhere that you want also uh, one thing that I should mention here is that you can even click on this icon right here that is module manager 
and it will connect to the internet and show you the various categories of the toolboxes and you can even download the toolboxes from here so you can just click on any category then you can select any toolbox and then just click install and it will do uh, the installation for you however the problem is that when you are looking at this window then it doesn't show you all the toolboxes that the website has to offer and that is because not all the toolboxes have been packaged as you can see right here that this toolbox is available on these two platforms that is a Linux and Windows platform by the Atoms packaging system however the toolbox that I created that I showed you a while ago was not um, available to download from was not already packaged so it wasn't available to download from this window right here Let, let's go on numerical math and since I have already installed this toolbox so you can see it right here however you don't see any other toolbox under the category numerical math when there are quite a few toolboxes on the, under this category but since none of them have been packaged by Scilab Adam's team so you don't see them here so you might want to try to go on the website and check out the toolboxes that are available there rather than just going to this button and checking out these shown in this window right here these are not all the toolboxes that the Scilab Adams um, sorry Adams repository has to offer well that's it for today I hope you understood the video and how you can install these toolboxes and how they are useful and how they add value to Scilab and function more functionalities to Scilab well that's it for today thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you for watching and have a nice day